Drow Ranger. Alliances turn to pick. As uh, as we can see, 35 to 13. The lane starting to get pushed in, and with the rotation of Pike, be as well. Maybe they can try and get onto Bulldog. If they can get the lead in Hex, they could have a good shot of it. Not quite hitting level six, but it might not matter with the scores. Dirt the stun into the sun strike. There's your first blood, and very nice, of course, as well. That uh, sure that the clockwork doesn't just get free farmed. the bottom as far as that up. He's the ultimate available. That they just TP in one more hero. Uh, let's see if they can catch out here. They're gonna focus on Supai, allowing Bulldog to get in, looking for the bash. Is that Heavy's turning around now, starting to punch into his spot. Spot's gonna be careful. You know, this level six throw, he certainly punches one more touch. Oh, not quite enough. But Bulldog just turning around, man fighting against the side of secret. He's got a time walk in. Second, can he finish off Puppy? Jumps for that Puppy is able to duke it out to the south. MB, they're looking for Bulldog here. Bulldog, he's, he's in a lot of trouble. Right, if he gets a bash, if he gets a bash, he won't. He won't get the bash. Puppy teasing him there, giving the vision to MB. And Secret do find themselves in second. s come back into this one. And with the last zone, trying to turn back. Puppy's still around with the score turf, and he'll. Trying to play it around the side, get the burn damage through. They'll lose MB, they'll get S4 in return. So a little bit scrappy there. I mean, is it decisions? We'll see if they've learned from the mistakes. And, and with this kind of different lineup, they can make uh, a little bit more decisions. It'll happen. Pai, very nicely as well. Ignores the boy. Goes for the lockdown onto Ake. Very, very smart play. And sure. Finally starting to grab those levels up at top that he so crucially needs. He really, really does. Still been alliance, really just holding strong on their safe lane, mid lane. Look at this, going in again, S4 in a lot of trouble. He's going to go down, another kill for RTZ. It really doesn't get better than this for the Invoker. Coming up to nine minutes in. And inside the secret as well, they're all coming around mid. You've got the full five man here, so if the Lions do decide to take a fight, they will be back up front. It's going to get dropped on MB, but look, Secret already rotating in. Universe trying to get him with a, with a hook shot. MB can't even get the live beat. He's going to have to get out of the around. They need to get Ake. He has to get out with the hex on the board of five. And he's getting the turnaround. They found Ake as well as he burns out. So just a bit off because they have a Spectre, they were rolling in the lanes, and then they just felt like they had to make something happen. And now this game, they're playing a lot more patient. Look at this! A wild dragon's been found, EGM walks around the mid lane, and Puppy and Pi have a quick to sort that out. I think they might even decide to go it's here, the universe has got the eyes on, who's he gonna go to? Ah, uh -huh, the blink out there from S4. Uh, is he gonna focus their attention towards Loda? They're pouring him out, he's on his own, doom, everything! Drops onto the pit. And that is Loader gone. So we talked about them wanting to do something with the smoke with the blink down reveal on Loader Slada. That's been revealed, but they, he, it's not him finding the initiation. It's Secret jumping onto him. Bottom lane, Bulldog goes to the Chrono Tempi, but RT on the sideline just punching into him. Can they kill this man? They've got the Lando dragging him in. They should have a good shot of this one with the Supernova as well. MB taking low. RTZ as well trying to get himself away from this. MB will get caught up by this. They'll take him down, and at the same time, they found themselves a second. Exactly. Bottom out. The question is, do they want to try and jump in onto the bat? So that's what they don't want to here with a hook shot. Only uh -oh. off, but now they will. I mean, yeah, S4 is miles away from his team, and he's gone. S4 teased them a little bit too long, and secret, they'll jump on him. I mean, Alliance have backed up, and S4 still. And they have vision on that. It's very free for secret, especially yeah. after that back kill. And they understand how S4 wants to play. Some of these players, a lot of these players, they before on that old secret roster. They know. I've been telling RTZ to be safe, stay back. But now, I mean, EGM has come rather far down this lane. Four stuff isn't going to save you some. And they'll pick themselves up another one. Yeah, when, when you're running that lineup, where where is your late game in comparison to a, a Drown and a Boca? And well, S4 has been caught out. The sun strike. This man is very much a dead man. The universe comes in to seal the deal, and that's the back gone for 50 seconds. Uh, with kind of plays like this, it, it looks like this is. Uh, Score 5 is going to be going to a game 3 here, Blitz at the moment. At this rate, just because uh, Secret, they continue to outfarm you. And look at EGM, top, this is another kill for, for Invoker. RTZ is just styling on them this game. Yeah, they're just, I, I think this is the part of the game. They say, oh, keep on your toes. Then the light feels a little bit more scared, and Secret can find one pick off on the Oh, the <laughs> load of slides in. And immediately getting boosted, beat down. By secret. And yeah, back to base after. Back to base. Bulldog will come in. 
he's got a chronosphere. Uh, he's not really got anyone else around to help him now. With the TV crew from Bat S4 jumps in, gets the left on Universe Ford off. Nice prone on the back line, holding back the heroes. Universe with the blade man, look like he forcing out. Universe styling himself out of the base. He'll survive. The people sweeping over the secret. They're coming in, they're trying to take it out, and then Will left only two, three down. Buy back from Bulldog. In both the Will Pop, but he's got the Aegis. Bulldog moving back in off the back of this buyback, looking for Puppy, but Puppy. He's got the blade mount. Doesn't matter. Bulldog will continue through, find the kill. But a secret, they found themselves to mid melee Rex. Top range Rex go down as well. Now, what, what is the plan here for Alliance? Okay. RTZ very much here in, in a huge power of strength, a very good position this game. And they punish Andy, he's been left behind. A little bit scrappy now for Secret, but they do lose off the carry, but space created. This is what you're talking about, he's having these Secret want to do now. That here in the jungle, moving around towards the mid, they could get a good wrap around as well. If the lights come out straight away, Universe looking in onto EGM, he's got the force, gets himself out of the sun strike, it's going to be on point. Another one for Secret Edge, but jumping in, but immediately the reaction there, the combo! Coming through from RTZ, S4, he can load the finger off to load the heat, he's on! S4 shot as well, and then try and turn off the egg, they won't find it, but it doesn't matter, Akin's got to run himself. And at this point, really, you're just looking at RTZ, 11-1-7. I think he's certainly made up for the performance in Game 1 here. He's very, very much comfortable in his element, and there is nothing that Alliance could do to stop this fire, apart from Bordeaux. Not, again with not that even that, indeed, this Alliance so strong against the lead in that Alliance continuously want to look for. Bordeaux will be able to time walk himself away. There's a buyback from AK, buyback from S4. S4 no lasso for 30 seconds, it's a secret. They're just giving all the space they want to pummel into the tier 3. Now opening onto the racks, EGM, he's back on. There's the Fox to BKB and RTG coming back in, starting and pushing them back. And this is, I mean, Alliance really are holding very much ready to jump back into the fight. It's a 25,000 net worth lead at 29 minutes in. Oh, looking for Invoker. RTZ just ready to come back in. They're looking to go straight forward. Load against the cross of the puppy, but Universe again with the fog. Onto Bulldog, onto EGM. They're trapped up in the middle of this one. EGM, he's going to fall. RTZ jumping in, focusing on S4. A couple more touches will bring down the bat. And that is a die back from S4. Bulldog looking for the badges, but he's going to need a fair few more. GG is cool. Game two, just an absolute showing of the skill that you would expect from Secret's lineup. And if they're able to keep this up in game three, it's going to be a tough one for Alliance. But at the same time, if they whip up, whip up the same way in game one, Alliance still have, you know, every opportunity to take this series. But good to see at least Secret were able to bring themselves back after a, a bit of a disappointing showing in game yeah. one. A much more well-balanced draft. Alliance is being a little bit more all-in. They had to try to set the tempo with the Blink Daggers. You see right there, Envy all smiles. Always happy. It feels like this game kind of brought them back a little bit more together. And Alliance, they've got to...